Hey guys, are you ready to take your YouTube journey to the next level? Whether you're just starting out or seeking ways to grow your existing channel, the Silva Silva is here to guide you every step of the way. All right. Now, the Silva offers personalized one on one training sessions where you'll receive tailored advice and strategies to help you succeed in the competitive world of YouTube content creation, okay? Now, if you're worried about navigating the intricacies of YouTube on your own, fear not. De Silva also offers an exclusive ebook filled with a wealth of information, tips, and insider secrets to help you thrive. 
With the Silva's guidance and the knowledge gained from her ebook, you'll be equipped with the tools and confidence to make waves in the YouTube community. Now, don't miss out on this opportunity to learn from a seasoned expert and accelerate your YouTube success. Reach out to De Silva Silva today at the Silva Talk Show at gmail.com to schedule your one-on-one -on -one training sessions and get access to her invaluable ebook. Don't hesitate. Go ahead and contact the Silva today and start your YouTube channel. All right, all right, all right. Good morning. How y'all doing? It is C Talk with your girl. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Mic checker, mic checker one, two. There she is, Cricket 22. Thank you, lady. Thank you. I hope everybody is doing well on this thankful Tuesday, okay? If you're under the sound of my voice, you consider yourself blessed because you made it over, all right? Also, like that, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you ain't yet subscribed, but you've been here a couple times, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I go live or upload a new video, all right? All things on this channel are alleged, and in my opinion, they are for entertainment purposes only. They are also covered under the Fair Use Act of 1976, copyright infringement, okay? All right, now. Let's go ahead and get started. G Tina, Melissa McCoy, Charlene W, Purple Queen, Taisha J, Creole Girl, all T Talk members. Good morning to you, ladies. Taisha is also a lady mod, all right? Sylvia P, good morning to you. Irene Bay, fabulous Linda Greer, who said that. T Talk members, good morning. Marietta, uh, you Mina. Annette GL, T Talk members, good morning to you ladies. Joda C, good morning. Rue Jones, good morning. Mean Cat, T Talk member, good morning. How are you? They call me Corp Diva is in the building. Good morning. Bama Girl 012, T Talk member, good morning. PN2 Ross, part of the Lady Mods, and a T Talk member, good morning. Annette GL Star Child T Talk members, good morning to you ladies. How you doing? Rain Bass T Talk member, good morning. How are you? T and T G Mom T Talk member, good morning to you. How are you? Jeanette B Diamond Diva Honey B T Talk member and a lady mod. Good morning to you. LA Girl 13, good morning, T Talk member. How are you? Ba, 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 ba. Ranita D, T Talk member, good morning, good morning. How are you? Connect Felder, good morning to you. Ty, T Talk member, good morning. Mima of Four, T Talk member, good morning to you. Regina Phillips, T Talk member, good morning to you. Thank y'all for the mic check. Mic check. I see them ones in the chat. I appreciate you ladies very much. Carmen Wallace, good morning. Revelation, T Talk member, by the way. Uh, Revelation 2023, good morning. Thank you for being here. Okay, okay. Demi Bell, good morning to you. How are you? Bridget from the 502 T Talk member. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Dimples for days. T Talk member. Good morning. 803 is where I be. Good morning. How are you? Let's see. I'm about to cross over. Darcel Ayers, Kayla Mack, Rally, Rally. Good morning, Carmel Rail. How are you? Y'all know Carmel Rail is a content creator, one of the best out here, okay? Know how to read the people's down real good and keep you laughing. <clears throat> Let's see, Flower Bloom, good morning to you. Kim Jones, Bernice Franken, T-Talk member, how are you? 
Miss Mary, good morning to you. How's everybody doing? All right, we made it to the bottom. Barbara Emery Jones, T Talk member, good morning. Mahogany Meeks, how you slip through here? Good morning to you, Mahogany Meeks, the Lady Mart. And T Talk member, how you doing this morning? Lady C, T Talk member, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the chat. I hope everybody is doing well, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. It is, uh, I'm thankful to be here this morning. I'm up, I'm energetic, and I'm ready to go to work. All right, I feel back to myself, y'all. I'm, I'm, I wasn't tired this morning. I popped up just like a, you know, popcorn. I just popped right up, like a popcorn and a hot grease. Boop, came right up. Yep, ready to go for something. Back to normal. Thank gosh for normalcy. Dap Duck 20, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Well, y'all see who we got on this little thumbnail here, y'all. We got a couple of these ladies, you know. We got a man on here because he going to go ahead and get, get a little credit from his, you know, he 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 helped his little wife get pregnant. So we're going we gonna to let him stay on there, okay? We're going to let him, we gonna let him stay on the board today, okay? Okay? Love you right back. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to let him stay on the board. But listen, y'all, y'all ever watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? You know, I used to watch them all. Miami, New York, Atlanta, you name it, I was there for the mess, okay? I was there for the mess. Now, Sierra is, she's on, still on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Um, She used to be one of my favorites. She really did. When she first came, she used to be one of my favorites. You know, she was over there. She had the whole little nail shop. Her husband, Shooter, was cheating on her. And, you know, she was one of my favorites. Because back then, good morning, Sam DT Talk member. Good morning. How are you? You watch it all, Regina? Mm hmm I still watch it. I just don't, you know, uh, recap it over here. But sometimes it's some things that happen that I, I just want to speak on it. And today, I want to speak on Sierra. Y'all. So, again, Sierra, I used to like her. But let me tell you why I stopped liking Sierra. Y'all might think I'm crazy. I don't like when women don't like themselves. So much so that they want to change their whole damn features. The girl was cute already. Now she just looked like somebody that, you know, she let the doctors play too much with her lips and some more shit. So, I, I, I can't, you know, I can't get with all that self-hate. Because the same thing with Lil' Kim. She used to be my favorite little rapper, but they just want to go ruin themselves. Y'all already beautiful. And then, thank you, Melissa. Y'all already beautiful. And then y'all go and let these people, um, Sierra can't be alone. Oh, yeah, she'll, she'll trade a man in and put another one on the rack real quick. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if that's all for TV, though. You know, because Carly Red. You know, half them, half them men that Carly Red was uh, claimed to be with, she really wasn't with them men. Y'all know that, right? So some of this stuff is for TV. No one understand the same way they over there faking over there at the uh, uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville. This is not the first time this has happened. Okay, so this is the formula that Mona Scott uses. Um, yes, Melissa, she look like a blow pop. This big old lips, girl. Your lips wasn't made. Your lips was already pretty. Um, Diamond Diva Honeybee saying, y'all need to hit that like or that dislike button. Don't matter which one. Just hit one of them. Hit one. Pick your choice. Don't matter. Don't matter. You in the bushes, on the street, driving in your car. Just hit the button, okay? Hit the button, all right? Sierra done made it over here this morning because, y'all, Sierra is in the hospital. Sierra is hospitalized right now, y'all. For going to get one of them monsoon tattoos. And not she got a tattoo all the way from her damn stomach down to her calf. Who in the hell does that? All look like all the way down to her ankle. Y'all, now she in the hospital. Talking about she she got to learn to walk all over again because the pain is just that bad that y'all she cannot walk. I said, now who in the hell gonna do something that stupid? I ain't never known nobody to get all that tattoo done in one day in the first place. Why would you do that? Why would you lay there? And how long did you lay there and let somebody do that to you? I'm not understanding. Polly Red got them big old lips looking a mess too. Yeah, yeah, they both they both in the same boat now. They probably both went to the same doctor. You know they all look like like act like they're best friends, but they ain't. Well, okay, Spice and Carly might have been best friends. But Spice said Carly not her friend no more because Carly's friend slept with her ex-boyfriend. So, 
I guess Carly was there. She opened up the girl legs and led the man's eggplant in the hole and all that. So I guess that's why she don't like Carly. I don't know. Yeah, she got to learn to walk again, Sylvia. I got, I got, the, I got the footage right here. I'm gonna show y'all. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't bullshit. That's what she say. She got to learn to walk all over again because she done went and let them people uh, put that tattoo on. Here you go. Listen up, people. Money Monster Sierra is officially admitted into the hospital until due notice. I love you guys so much. Um, and I just want to say again, if you are going to do Monster Gum and get your tattoos, do not get it crazy big like I did. Because when it knocks off, you're going to be in crazy pain. And when you're getting it done, you're going to be so numb. You don't feel nothing. Nothing. But if you are a person that can take pain, I would say to still get it in a sense. But just be mindful that when the numbing cream wears off, you're going to start feeling it. Yeah. And it's, it's going to hurt. Especially if it's big like mine. I literally got it from the top of my stomach all the way to, to the end of my leg. So yeah, I'm here. I love you guys. Y'all keep me in your prayers. And I'm trying to figure out, can I do content in the hospital? Oh, should I tuck it up? Oh, shit. Um, mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Going over, so just to try to get weight through it. Mm -hmm. Are you able to step in your right leg a little bit? Mm -hmm. No, too much. Mm -hmm. Just like you were doing, mm -hmm. when you go to take a step, you'll advance the walker first. You have to step with your right leg first. Yes, one. You have to bring it forward a little bit, and then mm -hmm. bring your left one to your right, really push those arms. Mm -hmm. There you go. And you can just try to walk as far as you can tolerate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull this a little bit so your not sticking out too much. Well, there you have it. She trying to walk again because she is in so much pain from letting somebody do a damn tattoo from her stomach all the way down to her damn ankle. Who is that foolish to sit there? Is this a goddamn storyline? Is these people putting themselves through this for a storyline? Because who does that? I thought everybody knew you don't get no damn tattoo that big all at one time. Who does that? Good morning, the network specialist. I also saw Melita Blunt come in, T-Talk member. Good morning to you. Justine Marie, good morning to you. Corvette girl for life. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Yeah, that's crazy. Miss B, that's me. Said most people that get massive tattoos don't do it all at once. Right. I ain't never seen nobody do this before. It, it just don't make sense. Terry Gay says, stupid as hell. This don't make no damn sense, big dummy. Big dummy. Who does that? Like, girl, you let them people put a tattoo on you all the way from your stomach all the way down to your ankle and you want to know why you in so much pain. Ain't nobody that damn dumb but you. This is a storyline, I believe. You know, Spice was in the story that last season they had. And they her and Spice, they don't get along so well. Maybe this season she wanted to be in the hospital. She wanted the people to come to see her. I can't understand why anybody would do that to themselves. They even do sleeves and stages. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. I feel like she must have made them people do that. Who does that all in one day? That's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Sam D said, I don't even have any tattoos and know that you're supposed to do massive tats and stages. Exactly. Well, I got five of them, but I was chat look. Them little five had me shoot. Hmm. I want one more on my foot, child, and I'm just, I can't do it. I've been wanting that thing for about five years now. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but baby, every time I think about it, ooh, in my foot, I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm going to wait till next year. And every year, I'm waiting until next year. I'm sure I ain't getting that tattoo, y'all. I'm sure I ain't getting that tattoo. They usually get them in multiple sessions. Exactly. Exactly. I hope that ink don't get in her bloodstream. Well, I mean, it might. For real, it, it just might. Good morning, Stacey Boyd. I don't have tattoos. Yeah, I have five of them. I have five. I, I have a tramp stamp. I didn't know it was a tramp stamp, though, when I got it. My kids told me afterwards, later in years. So my mom, why, how do you have a tramp stamp? I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, you got a tramp stamp on your back. What the hell is a tramp stamp? When you get them tattoos.
right there on your lower back, right above your butt. You know, because, you know, you know, I had a little body and I used to wear my little crop tops and things. And, you know, I wanted my little thing to show. Chad, they said, that's a tramp stamp. I said, well, I guess that I got a tramp stamp because I ain't getting it off. I tell you that right now. And it do, and it say all eyes on me, and I still ain't taking it off. Nope, leave it right there. Um, but yeah, let's move right along to the next person on our list, y'all, and that is Robin Dixon. Oh, and by the way, if you want to watch that entire uh, information, it's on Reality Entertainment TV over there on Instagram. The link is in the chat if you want to go and watch it again or see it again while I'm not here, then you can go over there and do it, okay? Carmel Rell said, I have five as well, and I'm not getting no more. I want one more on my foot, but I don't think I'm ever going to do it. But I don't want one nowhere else. That's for sure. Yes, Regina, a tramp stamp. The kids told me that what it was. I said, well, I guess your mama got a tramp stamp because I ain't taking it off then. Okay? As long as you know I ain't a tramp and I just got the stamp, we all good over here. Okay? Okay? <laughs> yes. Um, But, yeah, let's move right along to the next segment, which is Ro Hop and Robin Dixon, okay? Can we talk about Robin Dixon, y'all? I really feel like, I, I don't know what took Bravo so long to get rid of this news fest. Um, I feel like a lot of times the um, productions or the networks, they don't listen to the fans' overwhelming responses. We've been asking to get rid of this girl for uh, quite a few years now. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm glad y'all finally woke up and said, okay, last year was too much. And I think they gave her some grace and they allowed her to come back this season, even though last season, y'all know she hid. Well, if you don't watch the show, you might not know. So let me tell you. Last year, her husband, now husband, I'm not sure it was her husband when he was cheating. Yeah, I said it. Uh, allegedly, he was cheating with a lady from Canada. Now, this is the lie they came out with, that the lady came from Canada. She wasn't really with Juan, but she lost her wallet. Now, y'all listen carefully. She lost her wallet. And so Juan went over there to pay for her hotel because, you know, the lady gave the receipts to, to another blogger over there. I forget his name, a, a Caucasian guy. She came out. He was a big blogger. She gave him the receipts. The receipts trickled down to us. Um, and the receipts was plain and clear. Juan paid for the hotel room. So Juan then conjured up this story and told his woman at the time that this lady was his friend's friend's uh, girl or whatever, and she lost her wallet. So she called him for help. Now, if she was your friend's man, I mean girl, who was in the NBA, why the hell did she have to call you for money, Juan? But let's keep going. So Juan says the lady called him up, right, and told him she lost her wallet and she could not pay for her hotel room. Y'all, so Juan, he took his ass over there, he claimed, and he claimed he paid for the room and left. That what he claimed. I, I don't know, I want that. But that lady said otherwise. That lady said that you put your hot dog in her bun. That's what she said. Now, I'm just gonna tell you what she said. She said you put your hot dog in her bun and you added some mustard and ketchup because it might have got a little sloppy down there. But I'm trying to tell you, your ass was over there doing things with that lady that lady said that you should be doing with Robert. Now that's what that lady said. I don't know. But you did pay for that hotel. So Robin knew all of this before the season, before the one that ended, aired. So while they all was going through their shit, and y'all was accusing Candace's husband of trying to mess with uh, Sesame Street, and, and Giselle was pretending that she was so uncomfortable, and y'all was going after Wendy and Candace and everything else. Whole time, y'all knew that Robin's man was over there spreading the love with his hot dog. Y'all knew that already. Y'all knew. But y'all put the spotlight on everybody else. So then Bravo said, okay, Juan got fired, y'all. Juan got fired right after the season ended, right after the reunion, I believe, that last reunion. So I guess the Bravo executive said, hey, we're going to go ahead and let Robin come back because now that she done got reprimanded, 
for not giving that other story. She's got to give up the story about Juan being fired from Coppin State. Uh, shout out to Coppin State, another uh, HBCU over here in the grand state of Maryland. Go cop and go, okay? So he was a coach for the girls' basketball team over there, okay? Was the worst lie my four-year-old grandson side on that lie. You better go ahead and speak on it. Um, so listen, they let her come back, and guess what she did this year? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Same thing she did all the other years. Get try to use everybody else for a storyline, sort of like uh Dr. Heavenly do. Try to get in everybody else's business so that she could. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, she admitted that she got fired over there on that podcast. But I feel like she also threw a little shade at Candace. Let's listen in. Let's listen in. And I wanted to respect the network and respect um, the show um, and wait until the season ended, which yeah. I think, you know, makes sense um, to share this news. But yes, I will not be returning to season nine of the real housewives of Potomac. I to was... hear you say it out your mouth. Like it's like killing my heart right now. <laughs> and I, I obviously it's... I know this information, but like to hear you say it, right. It's reality. Oh. It's, it's reality. The, the network did not invite me back. Um, I was fired for lack of better words. <laughs> and I will not, you know, sugarcoat the situation and say, oh, I am walking away and this is a break or anything like this. This was a network decision. Um, and, you know, and I'm OK with it because nothing lasts forever. And I. I know, you know, I had a very long run. All right. So she says that the network fired her. Well, whoop de whoop de We figured, Robin, nobody's going to quit the show, right? That's what she wants us to believe. Nobody's just going to quit the show because you see how she said, I will not sugarcoat. That's the shade, y'all. That's the shade. I will not sugarcoat and say I'm on a pause or I took a break. So you know who she's talking to? Candace, right? Because Candace really did take a pause take a break now is she coming back she says she don't know but she did say i'm taking a pause i'm taking a break okay that's what candace said so now robin got to get over there on her reasonable shade but shady podcast i hope that thing making some money girl because if not you better get your ass over here on youtube and get to work um you can go ahead and review the goddamn show or something do something make yourself useful girl don't just sit out don't let the people count you out now i don't want you to be counted out i feel like we all need to make some money get your ass on over here you like to talk and run your mouth get your own little channel listen you i'm sure you can build it up real quick but like i said i feel like she was talking to candace i feel like but but that's the thing candy uh candace not gonna come back this season candy not gonna come back this season okay she not she not gonna come back this season because candace has better things to do with her time this season so let's hear from candace and see what she got we got big news to share. You guys are expecting your first child together. <laughs> the, the, the emotions are right there. Do we need a cry angle? Do we have a cry angle? I, you know what? You know I have one because I was, <laughs> I was wiping my nose, so it's going to have to transition in two seconds to be for a tear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I mean, yes. This is so exciting. Fill me in a little bit. Where are we at in the process? Uh, how far along are you? So, I think today I am about 13 weeks and three days. So just about into the second trimester, it's been, it's been weird, but also really like wonderful. It's just been like kind of quietly just <laughs> growing up fun. <laughs> Chris, how are you feeling? You know, for a while there, I thought I was almost done. And then, uh, <laughs> then, then we decided to start over. She had a cutoff date. I had about four years left on the time clock. <laughs> so you gave me the cutoff date. Yeah, I did. I did. Yes. Yeah, so I knew I had to like bleep or get off the pot. And, so. <laughs> and here we are yeah. bleeping. Can you share it? <laughs> And here we are bleeping. Congratulations to Candace and Chris, okay? Because they have been trying for a minute. Uh, good morning, Braden Lee. Welcome to the chat. You up early this morning. Um, I see that I don't like Candace is in the chat. Don't worry, I don't either. <laughs> but um, even though I don't like her, 
I don't like some of the things I saw this season and what they were doing to her. Like, I can always keep it real. I cannot like somebody and then also tell the truth about the injustices that are being done to that person. And honestly speaking, I just don't like the way they treated the girl this year. I don't like the way they treated her last year. I don't like the way they try to act like her husband was some type of predator. The man lost his job because of it. Like, all that type of stuff. I don't like that. I, I just don't like that. It, it, it just got to be a better way to do things. And that just ain't it. You know what I mean? That just ain't it. So, um, good morning. And I like Candace. <laughs> okay, Cheryl. Yeah. So, I feel like Robin was going shade, but I just want to let Robin know. <laughs> Robin, Candace quit. Mm -hmm. Candace quit. Because, see, it had taken this lady a long time to achieve a goal. And that was to get herself pregnant okay and now anybody with good common sense any woman with good common sense would not keep a job like that knowing that they was pregnant and knowing that they took a time took time to get pregnant right why would they ever go back to a toxic show like that and try to to carry their child any woman who carried a child knowing that stress is not good for you especially when you had to go through now i don't know if they got pregnant the regular way because they did if they went into it I didn't hear that part, but um, that girl was going through IVF. So if you got to go through IVF to get pregnant and all that, you ain't about to go go work with a bunch of people that could cause you stress to lose your child. So I wish the best for Candace. No, she's not my favorite person on the show. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't know her to dislike. I don't like her character on that damn show. Um, but now knowing what I know about TV and, and now that Winter has came out and shed some light on some stuff, everybody got to be a villain. So Candace might not even have been as bad as we thought she was when we look back over this reality TV game. So, I, I you know, other than Love and Marriage Huntsville, I got to take my, you know, when I look at these people, I got to look now with a different eye, if you understand what I'm trying to say. I, I just got to look with a different eye. I can't just take the TV's word for it no more. Because the, the these production companies, they're going to they gonna keep up with their favorite. Wait a minute. Kenya wasn't on Roa when she was pregnant, too. Yeah, but Kenya wasn't on Roa because she got fired. It's not the same. She didn't quit her job. She might have quit. She might have quit had she been uh, on Roa. But she probably wouldn't. Have. I hate to say it, but Ken, Kenya seemed a little thirsty. She might not have quit. But um candace you know candace got money candace come from money candace probably really don't need that check candace wanted to do you see candace to me move sort of like male when i say sort of because she didn't start her own business is right that i know of she do sell t-shirts and stuff so she did start one business but candace used that platform to catapult herself Okay. Uh, truly, Michelle, twenty-eight. Welcome to the chat. She said, "Candace ain't my cup of tea at all." Well, honey, she ain't my cup of coffee either. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations to her anyway, right? Shoot, she was trying to have a baby. To any woman trying to have a baby who could uh, uh, achieves that dream and that goal, I always get sad when people say, you know, they can't have children because for me, it wasn't nothing. It, you sneezed on me my ass was pregnant so f to me you know i can't relate to the having a hard time but i still do get sad for women because i know what it uh although y'all i didn't want children at all you know i had dreams and, and goals and, and and it didn't include being a mom to be honest but after i had the first one i fell in love with her and i was like oh this mom stuff's not that bad mm-hmm yep and then I waited five years and I had another one. And then after that, boom, 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 three in a row. And then I was like, okay, I'm done. And then all of a sudden, here come that oops, baby. You know, my spoiled little chocolate drop. Yep, that's my oops, baby. But yeah, so I didn't want kids at all. But when I, when I, when I, whether I wanted them or not, baby, I was fertile myrtle. I was like, oh, Lord, my, I can't be like my mama now. I can't be having no eight kids now. Rest in peace to my sister Janet and Jackie. But no way. Don't give me no eight kids. No, indeed. I said, tie them tubes up. This thing is too easy to get pregnant. 
So yeah, um, Kenya was fired because she got married and hid it from the show. Yep. Kenya isn't thirsty. She acts, has her own hair care dynasty, etc. Give her her props, even if you don't like her. Oh, Janine, we see her in a different light. And then again, like I said, it could be the production company. It could be the production company. I don't like Kenya. That's just what it is. I don't like her. I don't like the way she's moved on the show. But I did just say that I'm going to start looking at these people a little different. So I got to tell you something. I don't follow Kenya. If somebody write a story about Kenya, I don't even go read it. Because that's how much I don't like her from the show. But now, like I said, with winter coming out, I'm going to start looking at people different, especially if I'm watching these shows. I got to look at them a little different. I got to go do a little deep diving so I don't just look at these people and be like, oh, she's a real bitch. But in real life, they probably not even bitches, some of them. You understand what I'm saying? Candace was strategic. She toured and did her music and stack those Bravo checks so she can sit for a while and enjoy her pregnancy. Candace also has a hairline that's doing well. See, I didn't even know that about Candace. Why? Because I don't really see it for her. So I'm be checking for her. Okay, Janine, Kim Fields is a legend. Kenya Moore is a person that exists. Wait a minute. I will say she is a wonderful mother to Brooklyn and she has always gotten a bag. I will at least give her that respect. Okay, then, Braylon, come on through. Mm-hmm. Kim Fields is definitely a legend. How ironic. The Scots hide their whole life. Different show. But Robin is fired because her husband does not want to exploit his life. Yep. Because that show wants as much to reality as they can get. They may push some stuff around here and there. And they may, you know, make things look like one person meaner than the other. But for the most part, we get what's really going on. Um, Candace said they told her to be nice. To oh, I forgot to get that clip. Thank you so much. I do have that clip. I forgot to upload it. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. and I didn't bring my damn iPad today. Every time I'm going to bring my iPad, I need it. Y'all, she sure did say that. Candace said that this season, that the reunion was different for her because, y'all, the Bravo asked her not to be lethal. So Bravo was protecting Giselle. And that's the end of the story. Bravo was protecting Giselle. That's what they was doing. Because who else was she going to give vitriol to? But Giselle and Ashley. Did they tell them girls not to be mean to Candace? I wonder. Hmm. Uh, Carmel said motherhood calmed Kenya a bit. Because before that baby, she was a hot mess. The baby will humble Candace a bit too. Um, now, I don't know if motherhood humble Kenya or Bravo humble Kenya. Because when did she become humble? The last time I, the last season I seen her humble was this past season. And that was because Marlo was there. And Marlo was the villain. And she said that early on. I won't be the villain this season. I won't be the villain this season. That's what she said. She won't be the villain this season. It's going to be somebody else. How you know you're not going to be the villain? How would you know that? Because they play roles. Bravo always protects Giselle. Sure does. Well, Candace told y'all. Hmm. Y'all know why I look at her sitting on that couch. She don't look like us. She look like them. Ain't that what Candace told her? Yep. In different words, but the same story. Mm-hmm. That's why they protect her. Protect her. Well, you got to give me circumstances to be nice and all for me. Nice. And people are mean. And what am I supposed to do? I ain't going to sit back and not let people be mean to me. <laughs> that was being nice. It worked in her favor because look at how she flowed from the reunion to a very, very well done birth announcement video. Uh-huh. Carlos cried on his YouTube last night and mentioned that Candace was left unprotected. 
Child, somebody told me that last night. I said, I know damn well this man ain't do that. I'm going to go find a little piece of it so I can read his ass down. If he don't take it out, he might take it out by now. But then again, he ain't going to take it out. Because you know why he ain't going to take it out? Because if he take it out, then he won't be making a dig at Mel. Because that's what he doing. See, Carlos do things so he can trend too. Y'all got to know that. He wants to trend too. The more he trends, the better off he is, right? So if Carlos do shit like that, right, we going to talk about it. He know the millimeter's gonna come at his ass. He know that. So that's half the reason why he doing some of the stuff he do, y'all. And I feel like we gotta stop uh, uh, giving him all this clout. We keep on uh, hashtagging him week after week because he said something with Dr. Heavenly. Oh, Carlos said this. But yet we ain't supposed to be even supporting Carlos. So how the fuck we know what he's saying? If he the puppet master and we don't want the puppet master to excel, why in the hell we keep talking about him? Why we keep on giving him life? Why we keep giving him hashtags? Why we keep putting his name on thumbnails? He shouldn't be getting all that. I'm not watching that snake. Right. He's subliminally messy. Right. But he does that because he knows that every time he says something to another female, whether it been Portia or, or Drew Sedora. Now, he knew Drew was at Mel's event. He went right over there to Drew's page, knowing that nine times out of ten, Melometers was now following her because she was at Mel's event. He went right over there to her page and put all these fucking hearts on there so that everybody could come back and say, oh, my God, Carlos was over there fucking giving Drew props, but he doesn't give Mel props. Fuck Carlos King, okay? And that's in my opinion. Not allegedly, just in my opinion. Fuck him. I'm not looking at his shit, and I ain't reporting on his sorry ass. Because that's what he wants. His ass wants to trend week after week after week. That's why every single time he go over there with Heavenly, he got some subliminal shit to say that could lead up to it being male. And every week, we respond to the fucking puppet master. Fuck Carlos King. I ain't responding to his ass. I ain't going to watch that eat that uh, video. Fuck him and Dr. Heavenly. I don't like her ass evil. Period. I don't like her ass evil. So ain't none of them worthy enough for my time. I ain't watching that shit. I could find some. It's so much other content out here I could put on my damn channel besides them bums. No, I'm not going to do it. I got to draw the line somewhere. And it's going to start right there. I'm not talking about his dumb ass. Of course he over there trying to pretend like he crying and acting all goddamn stupid so we all can go make a thumbnail and say oh carlos king he's over there pray, crying for candace he ain't never cried for mail that's a fucking no i'm not doing that mm -mm. let his ass cry tell him to get a cry angle tell him to get himself a cry angle like candace and stick it up his ass i don't care what he do I don't care about that man no more. That man that hurt my, man, he done hurt Melody too much. And now that winter then came out, man, that shit done really pissed me off. Y'all don't even know. That might be why my ass was so tired. I, I haven't had a headache ever since winter came out, ever since winter did that damn interview. And then she went over on her channel and let all that shit out. Mm -mm. He don't get no time for me. Fuck him. Sorry for my language, y'all, but I'm sorry. He, ain't, he don't deserve it. He do not deserve it. Who cares about the blogger's tears? Exactly. Fuck his tears and him. They probably fake anyway. Um. Anyway, y'all. Oh, Melly Mel. Y'all know she took a little break. Okay? Y'all know she took a little break. And then she came back. And she shared some of her views with us. So I'm going to share them with y'all because everybody don't be on Instagram. Okay? Shit, he make my ass itch, G Tanner. You you talking about the bottom of your feet? I'd be like this motherfucker. I can't stand him. I pray they are too, dudes. And that and that's when I talk about his ass. When there's some legal shit going on, or maybe uh, toxic rain entertainment is coming down. Hey, then I might come on here and, and spread the word. Baby, they got toxic rain in for the entertainment for the work environments that they had these people in for the abuse that they allowed. Baby, then I come back over here and talk about him. But he, yeah, Sandra, he is the devil. 
And I don't want that. I, listen, everything ain't good. Just like all money ain't good, all content ain't good. Not over here. I'm not talking about Carlo. Let them other people talk about him. I don't want to hear about his face. Sorry, y'all. I, I just don't. <laughs> I can't do it. He doing that shit to hurt Mel, and I'm not going to help him by making his ass shrimp. And that's the bottom line. I, I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it. But anyway, let's take a look at Mel's um, videos from vacation, some of it. Okay? And there's no sound, so you just got to be paying attention. Here we go. This lady always stay in the best places ever. Wait till you see the view. I think Mel got the thing for views. Look at that water. Oh. Beach me, somebody beach me, damn it. She's so cute. That was nice. She said, penthouse me, please, okay? Plant, penthouse me, please, okay? Penthouse me. And she ain't going broke to do it. <laughs> Tomorrow she still to spend money. And won't be no lawsuits out there either. Ow, Melly Mel, ow. That was a nice penthouse. She went on her vacation. She came back refreshed and giving away money, okay? She came back refreshed and giving away Monday. She came right back and said, it's Money Make It Monday out here. Y'all go ahead and write those things that uh that you do for self-care, and I'll pick the winners, and I will give away $250, okay? Okay? Child, please. Mel needs an ambassador to deal with a vacation company. I booked that hotel if I could afford it. Right. What I want to know is who filmed her. It could be Lauren. You know, Lauren goes away with her a lot. Child, did she say she is okay with it? Your online TV begging for that spot. Bye, Felicia. Hmm. Yep. So, yeah, Mel went away for self-care, and she did do the 250 Money Making Monday, asking people what do they do uh to go away what i mean it's for self-care what do you do for self-care okay so if you didn't already you probably still have time if you didn't go over there to our instagram and enter in the 250 dollars contest about what you do for self-care right i don't think she don't announce the winners that quick what the hell really Reldon said Martell is somewhere watching, curled up in a fetal position, crying like a bitch, looking at Mel. He went to Mississippi for a vacation. She's out the country. Go, Mel. <laughs> right. It's Lauren filming her. Yeah, that's what I said. It's normally Lauren. Lauren goes with her sometimes, but she don't always show her. Let the people think that she getting flued out and, you know, like they said, let them people think what they want. Let them people uh, do what they want, right? Did you get the pictures from yesterday? Uh, Mahogany, I got some of them while we was live, but if I'm being totally honest, when I got off this live, girl, I went back to sleep. I did. I, I haven't checked probably any of my, I checked yours yesterday because we were online, but I haven't really checked my DMs. So if anybody else DM me, be patient. 
I get back to normal today. Shit, I said I wanted a salad for the day. Let's pass the Chick fil A. I got to give me a salad. No breakfast, but I need me a salad because I need to get back on track. Um, It could be a man friend. It could be. I just ain't want to put that out there. I don't like to assume until she tell me she there with a man friend and I'm just going to assume that it's Lauren or somebody. I ain't going to be like the other people talking about she getting flued out and you know, shit. If she is getting flued out and she getting flued out to the best places, I know that. Shit. If she getting flued out and she getting, she getting, she getting her money's worth, I tell you that. <laughs> Go ahead, Mel. Big Mel, not the little one. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, if she is getting flued out and fuck some of these people better check they uh see know and understand they getting ripped off shit she getting put in penthouses and everything else shit mm, that girl said penthouse me please okay penthouse me please hello uh-huh thank you uh-huh martel said that about her because he knew he was flying his hoes out was he flying them out or was he driving them out shit that nigga can't afford to fly nobody out he said that because he'd heard that before i would love to meet you one day oh uh, hopefully you're coming to MeloCon. melody always takes a vacay after they wrap filming that out of the country pain hit different. What she say in a national coochie? <laughs> Flewed out versus the cash fake rental cars. Mel says she's international. You better know it. International, international. Child, when the devil try you, you must detox and decontaminate. Go, Mel. Yeah, Mel got to go. You know, she go away. Every she do go away after after filming. She does go away, which is good for her because she needed. She needed after. Can y'all imagine working with them people every day? Can y'all imagine working with them people every day? Can y'all? Because I can't imagine working with them people every day. You glad the mean DC gone shit, girl? They said they on the break. Um, Susan, Christopher, welcome to the chat. And uh, DC said they on the break, honey. That what he said yesterday. I seen the post. He said they on the break, honey. They coming back. I guess they got five more people, child, because half the people done quit. They got to find more people for DC. Half them people done quit. Listen, the lady Sherelle. That everybody going in on that little clip they seen with her with them split pants down the middle and they say she too big. Go look at her now though. Don't 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 go look at something almost two years old. Go look at a young lady now. Mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two. I got kicked out. I got kicked out. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Holler back if you hear me. All right, Cricket. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, they might as well cancel the whole Love and Marriage franchise at this point. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 1600. You can go ahead and tap it on top. It doesn't tap. Oh, it doesn't. All right, you're all stepping. Melody was on vacation and the sky saying Walmart filling out application. Now they wasn't in no Walmart filling out no application. They were down there at the they were down there at the paint pretending like they were millionaires. That's what they were doing. They were somewhere pretending to be millionaires. Uh-huh. That's what they were doing. They were somewhere playing play play, pretending like they were somebody that they not. That's exactly what they was doing down at the Walmart. Uh huh. That's what they were doing, uh, pretending. You know, one thing I can't stand is when you come somewhere and ask the people, is your stuff done? And they tell you, yeah. And then it ain't really done. I was very confused. Now, how the man pull around me and leave before me and I pay before him? Boy, I tell you, these people are crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, child. The Scots was getting more loans. Oh, my gosh. I heard they got two more loans, y'all. I ain't seen the paper, but allegedly somebody done went and got the paperwork and baby, they got two more loans. That's what I heard. They went down, the, they got the papers from the court and shows that they from somewhere. I don't know where they got the papers from, but I heard True T talking about it last night when I went over there and she said that them people got two more loans from somewhere. It's on some, uh, I forgot the girl name, so I can't even tell y'all where it was at. Somebody TV. Oh, I forgot what, who she said had it, but she, allegedly y'all, they got two more loans. How the hell y'all getting more loans? When y'all don't even make no money, how is they getting along? Chad, you know what? I hope they don't end up like um uh what's his name? Uh 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 let me tell y'all his name. He clear man, him and his wife. Oh, they had their own show. They had their own show. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. T from TV, that's the name. That's the name. She said she got the paperwork right over there. They got, they went out and got more loans. I'm going to tell y'all who I'm talking about. Chrisley's. The Chrisley's. Y'all know they went to Jay. There they go. Yeah, 803. Yeah, Juice and Pete. Y'all know just who I'm talking about. Those people doing time right now. Okay? And those people doing time because those people jimmy numbers to make it look like they had more money than they did so they could get loans from the bank. Okay? Now, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what they doing, too. They say that's what the Scott's doing. They jimmying up papers to make it look like they got more money than they got to get loans. But this is what I want to know. This is exactly what I want somebody to go ask Tisha. Okay? If you can get close to her, answer this for me. Say, T-Talk want to know. If you a millionaire, right? If you is a millionaire, why is you getting loans? Because Mel ain't out here getting no loans. Mel is paying for things cash, cash, dollar bills, transferring, wiring money so she can get what she need. But y'all out here getting loans, but you say you're millionaires. Why are you getting them loans if you're a millionaire? Please tell me why. That's all. Just, just tell them T-Talk want to know. If you see them, tell them T-Talk want to know. Matter of fact, next time Wanda go live, one of y'all ask her dizzy ass why her daughter and her son-in-law out here getting loans and they millionaires. Ask her why that. Ask her why they doing that. And since she had had to bring up mail before, talk about mail buying her mother a car, ask her also, ask Wanda, why haven't they bought her a food truck? They millionaires. Millionaires do buy their parents cars, food trucks, restaurants. You know, millionaires help their parents live out their dreams. Can somebody please ask Tisha why she's not helping her mama? Why she ain't bought her mama a food truck? Okay, these are questions we need answered. 
We need these type of questions answered. So the next time when Wanda go live, that's the fuck we need to be over there asking Wanda. Why, if your children are millionaires, that they got these, these recent loans? And if they millionaires, why haven't they bought you a new house or updated your goddamn furniture? Why are you still sitting there with that 1976 furniture with that hard-ass plastic on it, looking like you down at the funeral parlor? Why is it that, that that's going on when your daughter's a millionaire? Your daughter don't care about you? And now I'm trying to figure some shit out here. Y'all millionaires. Millionaires, but you had to go live in an apartment while you was renovating your house. If you're a millionaire, why you had to go live in an apartment in the first place? Because I wouldn't have did that. You told Kimmy y'all was still squished up in a place. Y'all was still didn't have enough space in that apartment. Why did y'all rent that apartment if y'all was millionaires? Why did y'all do that? Last time I checked, millionaires don't move like that. Millionaires don't move like that. So why, why the hell was y'all moving like that? I can't understand getting loans and you're a millionaire. Who does that? Wander somewhere in somebody's cornfield. A food truck and it don't have an engine or a kitchen. That's not the food truck that she showed prosperity. The food truck that she showed prosperity had the, all the bells and whistles in it. All of them. All the bells and whistles. So what happened to that food truck with all the bells and the whistles in it? That's the questions we need to know. They got to be lying on the application. Right. Don't forget the rent. Carmel. Don't forget the rental center furniture Tisha and Marceau has. I forgot about that. They sure did get that rental center. Chad, where they millionaires at? Where they millionaires at? They are stacking those loans up so when they lose that $5 million lawsuit, they can file for bankruptcy. Uh-uh, baby. That's not the way loans work. You can't just stack them up. Uh-uh. You got to pay on them. And the bigger the loan, the bigger the payment, sweetie. The bigger the loan, the bigger the payment. You got a minimum payment as soon as you approve for a loan. You already got a minimum payment. So ain't no stacking up. You got to pay on them loans every month. That's what you got to do. They ain't no different than us. They got to pay on them loans, honey. Ain't no stacking up for the later day. They not squirrels. They can't stack it up. They can't, they can't save that stuff in their mouth. But anyway, guys, I'm at work. I got to get in here and do my part. Good morning. How are you? Um, that's my same favorite assistant principal. We getting here at the same time lately. Um, anyway, y'all listen. I'm at work, so I gotta go. Y'all know what to do. Continue to be blessed by being a blessing. Okay. Share your smile with somebody because you never know who may need it. Okay. Treat people how you want to be treated. But most of all, remember this, you got one life to live. Live it without regrets. Enjoy it, okay? Do the things you wanna do. Don't let somebody tell you how you're supposed to live your life, okay? Not rent a center paying three times the value of that cheap furniture, yes. Rent a center, Carmen, yes. Yes, yes, rent a center. Everybody rent a center. Did you see yesterday on Call Us towards the end there? Live Heavenly was saying she was in Africa and that Dr. Jackie was doing a lot of working in the community. I saw the live. They are in Africa. They're in Africa. I saw them. Mm -hmm. With Curtis and all them down there in Africa. They are. Heavenly been doing a lot of traveling after somebody read her down and told her she don't do shit. Then she started traveling everywhere. But anyway, y'all. I got to go. I could keep talking to y'all all day. Love y'all. Have a blessed day, okay? See y'all tomorrow morning. Unless I pop in. Your place is like I do. My place.
got to keep to the lock we in our own zone make yourself at home get to know mine on the inside can meet a joy next Places like I do